now we're going to see the um, multi hop architecture okay um, so there are three layers uh, which we already talked about with the bronze silver and the gold layer this is also called the medellin architecture okay so the biggest advantage of this is that it has categorized okay and make it simple uh, the three layers and this is an incremental etl okay it will go into incrementally uh, load the data for you okay and transform it first it will go into extract then transform then load the data okay um, other thing is that uh, it uh, and the major benefit of this architecture is the ability to gen uh, regenerate the downstream table from the raw data at any time so in the order uh, in the order loader we have seen that we are creating the um, um, uh, the cloud format okay uh, the cloud file format so this is what i was talking about so this is the cloud file format we are creating into the auto loader okay so <coughs> here we will go into um, see what format we're going to uh, 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 write so the here also we're going to use the cloud file only okay so let's start with the um, bronze layer first okay so i'm deleting the entire thing i'm just interrupting it okay now i'm deleting the entire thing from the user table from the user folder and now i am going to create a same data which we have created in the previous video okay so it will going to be in the enrollment json row folder okay this data will be going to be in the enrollment json row folder as a json now um, what we will going to do is we will going to create another table or another data into the student json folder okay so there will be two folder student json and your enrollment json enrollment raw json or enrollment json row okay enrollment json row and your student json so let me remove the row from here it will be too confusing let me run that again so there will be two folder enrollment json and the student json okay so one containing the json file and the other one will going to contain the delta file okay so let me run that so what i'm doing here is i'm joining uh, your streaming json data with the static uh, delta table okay so what we're going to see is we will going to see the join between streaming json data with delta table okay so it could be anything streaming with the stream static with the stream okay uh, static with static so let's see how we're going to do that so now we already have this data in these two folders okay this is the data with the student id name and the salary and uh, in the other enrollment json we have this student id so this is the column where we will going to join using the student id course and everything okay so let's move so if i see what data we have in the student json so it will going to contain the parquet format because we know that delta format will going to create the parquet format file okay and the checkpoint as in the json format okay so and with the enrollment json uh, i don't think we okay with the enrollment json we have the json for json files okay so this is json and this is the parquet now what i'm doing is okay so in the previous video also we are doing the same thing so this is creating create the uh, checkpoint location as the bronze so this is the bronze layer where i am um, reading the data <coughs> uh, auto loading or i am mean using the auto loader i am reading the data from the enrollment json okay and it will go into insert the data into the enrollment bronze okay so 
this is the reading format for auto loader and it will read from this folder location enrollment json and it will going to write into the table which is your enrollment bronze table okay and uh, the format would be the delta okay so let's see if i run this so this will be continuously running this will continuously stream in and uh, now what i'll do is i'll join okay join the enrollment bronze with my static student json data okay so let me run that okay so this will going to display the join data of the enrollment bronze data with my uh, with my student json data okay yeah so as you can see there was only one row got created so that's why uh, in the student json we have three rows uh, one two three student id and on the other side we have student id uh, only one row okay of the student id in the enrollment table we have only one row with course and everything so that's why you can see only um, only one row getting created because it is joining with the student id okay i'm joining it with the student id now let me do one thing let me copy the same enrollment data okay into the same location with different file a different file name so okay so this is the enrollment json table containing only one data okay i'm going to copy the file name and i'm going to put that here okay and uh, in the same folder i will be giving it as what name should i give sample sample one dot json okay okay so what i did is i'll show you in the enrollment json folder i have created the sample okay sample one dot Uh, I think uh, one second. Okay, this is wrong. So this is not the wrong. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, now let's go back and see if we have the sample dot JSON here. Yeah. So you can see the sample dot JSON getting added. Now we have two rows. Okay. So now we have two rows. Um. how we can see that okay so let me go back uh, in the student json we have three we have three files okay with student id 1 2 and uh, in the enrollment table we have two file one sample json okay and one the original data same data now this is streaming right so let me open this now you can see another spike has been created because we have already we have just now added the new data and this is also running where i am joining the data static data static data with the uh, streaming so now you can see there is another row got created okay so so what happened is in the streaming which is the data is continuously streaming um based on that our enriched data is also getting populated okay so you can try with the other file as well let me give you the sample 2 dot json okay so the enrollment uh, json folder will going to contain three files and after 20 second you will going to see the data will uh, join data okay join data with three rows okay so this is 10 second let's wait for 15 second
so this is the join data okay which is getting populated so let's wait for 10 more seconds yeah so as you can see the third row is getting created okay populated with student id 1 okay so that's all for this video thank you